let me give you uh, an example. I didn't want to get political uh, uh, at all, but, uh, but I will a little bit because we're living in extraordinary times. Uh, Donald Trump is going to be the Republican nominee, probably, uh, uh, for president. And maybe one or more of you support uh, uh, Donald Trump. And, uh, if you do, I don't want to uh, <laughs> ruffle you. Um, but I believe that Donald Trump, in addition to everything else, uh, is a constitutional crisis waiting to happen, uh, okay? I believe that when Donald Trump's Watergate uh, happens, and you know it will, uh, okay, I don't think this guy leaves the building voluntarily um, uh, uh, the way Nixon did. So now we have a problem. Uh, he also might be a walking even bigger crisis uh, in that some of the things that he talks about uh, we should go after the family members of terrorists. Uh, we should torture people even worse than waterboarding. Um, uh, I'm gonna nuke this country, I'm gonna nuke that country. He is saying that as commander in chief, he would be issuing illegal orders, okay? Uh, and there are very smart military people who are saying, it's gonna be a real problem because I don't know anyone who would follow that order uh, to kill the child of, uh, of a terrorist. Um, so, uh, you know, you, you could have a situation you know, that we only ever see in movies or third world countries where there's like the one crazy general who's loyal to Trump and he's got his division and that's a civil war. That's, uh, uh, that's how civil wars start.